Hello coolers, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on some interesting updates. We begin with Pablo Gavi as the Barcelona midfield star will miss Alaves clash due to suspension. We are going to discuss on that as we move ahead. Secondly, we are going to be talking about this transfer report claiming that Barca are in competition with Real Madrid, you know, with also AC Milan for the battle of 17 year old wonder kid. Who is he? We are going to be discussing more about that as well. So, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end barcelona were able to return to winning ways by securing a narrow one nil victory over real sociedad last night it was a crucial victory that allowed the catalans to remain on the heels of girona and real madrid in the race for the league title however not everything went right for Barca on the night, with Gavi now facing a suspension for the upcoming league game against Alaves. Heading into the game, Gavi was the only Barcelona player who was running that risk of picking up a suspension due to his booking counts. The young star had picked up yellow cards against Getafe, Cadiz, Celta de Vigo and Athletic Club. A fit card against Sociedad would have meant that he would miss out on the Alaves clash. So it did happen. Gavi did pick up a late yellow card against um, um, Sociedad. He was booked for an angry protest as he hit the air with his fist. So is it a huge blow for Xavi? Gavi's on availability against Alaves, the last game before the international break. Could be a blow for Xavi Hernandez. The young star had played a crucial role in Barcelona's second line of press. His aggression and creativity are often key factors that help Barca remain on top of opponents. But on the positive side, Gavi's suspension comes at a time when Pedro is just returning from his injury. The young midfielder marked his return last night making a substitute appearance against Sociedad. He is in contention to feature in the upcoming matches for Barcelona, which should help Xavi fill up the absence of Gavi. Moreover, Gavi would prefer missing out on the Alaves clash, rather than running the risks of suspension in the coming league matches against Rayo Vallecano and Atletico Madrid. Of course, Pablo Gavi cannot keep his school at times, right? We all know who Gavi is. He's a fighter and of course, he's such an important player in our team. And of course, we play against Alaves next, I think, at home. And of course, Gavi's absence will be felt a bit because he has been important. But luckily enough, with all due respect to Alaves, it's not an opponent that we should say, look, we're scared that it might be so difficult as Gavi is not there, which I don't think is going to be the case, by the way. Of course, yesterday's match was amazing, not in the performance, but for the result. At the end, it's football. Even when you don't play well, the fans will just want you guys to bring out the results, which is what we got. And what a time to score. Araujo, the hero of the game, came out and scored at 92nd minute header to win it 1-0. And of course, what an important win it was. So, Gavi, who also played yesterday, was on four yellow cards already. And he was the only player who was having that race of suspension. And so boy, did he get it. It doesn't come as a surprise because Gavi has been that kind of person. This is not the first time when we, when we see Gavi on four yellow cards, a match where he's supposed to keep his cool down to ensure that he doesn't get another card. Gavi, would, Gavi doesn't care if you mash his toes. Gavi will go crazy. If a decision is against him, he will still protest. And that is exactly what we saw yesterday. That is exactly what we saw yesterday. But as I said earlier, Pedri Africa, we saw him play very few minutes um, 
after how many months out, Pedri will be there for the game against Alaves. And I think we shouldn't miss Gavi so much in that Alaves game. Especially as Pedro also will be around. Even though they are two different kinds of players, they have their own attributes that they are good at. But nonetheless, I think we are still going to do it all good without Gavi. Because we have, I think after the Alaves, we have international break. Then we'll come back, we have Rayo Vallecano. Then we have Atletico Madrid. So, yeah, tough ties ahead of us. Tough fixtures still coming up. Um, fixtures that we really need to shape up our title aspirations. So let's see how the upcoming games will look like. But before the Alaves Clash, we, we play against Shakhtar Donetsk. I think away from home. Shakhtar Donetsk away from home. That won't be an easy clash as well. So let's just keep fingers crossed and see how it goes. Then on to the final story of discussion. Barcelona and Real Madrid have battled it in the transfer market for the signing of young talents in recent times. Pablo Torre, Hendrik and Ada Guler are some of the names that the two El Clasico rivals have warred over in recent transfer windows. And it appears that both clubs will battle it out once again for another of Europe's teenage gems. Although a number of other top teams also seem to be in the race, including AC Milan. Of course, um, indeed, uh, as per Italian publication Castro Mercato, Barcelona and Real Madrid are in the hunt to sign partisan by great talents Matja Popovic. However, the two La Liga heavyweights will face serious competition from Serie A Giants AC Milan, who are also in the mix to sign the 17-year-old attacking midfielder. Apart from these three teams, the likes of Borussia Dortmund and the Bayern Munich are also in the mix. But Milan appeared to be a serious contender for his signing. Indeed, Geoffrey Monsada and Antonio Dio Vatio, um, who are part of the Rossoneri Sporting Management staff, have obtained good reports on Popovic and wish to go all out for him. Apart from the immense potential that Popovic possesses, the fact that he can be signed for free in January 2024 makes him such an attractive prospect for all the suitors. Indeed, the 17-year-old James contract with Partizan expires in December this year and he has refused to sign a new contract, which has led to him being frozen out of the picture at his club. Apart from a nominal training compensation fee, Popovic will be available for free, which is why the likes of Barca and Real Madrid, as well as AC Milan, will make a push for his signing. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.